A very good afternoon, all of your children. My name is Abhilasha, and in this session, children, we are going to discuss about the French Revolution from Class Nine subject history. So let's begin. So in this session, children, we are going to discuss about the French Revolution, how it happened, how the society collapsed during this revolution, and why it is very important for us to learn about it. So let's begin. So now, class. Now, French Revolution happened during the late 18th century in 1774. Okay, there was a king named Louis XVI. He was only 20 years of old, or we can say only 20 years young boy, which is coming from the Bourbon dynasty, and he was newly introduced to the throne of France. Now, he was welcomed by an empty treasury. Their treasury, or we can say France's treasury, is almost empty during that time. So during the Louis XVI was, uh, you know, a king. At that time, the treasury is almost empty. Okay, so now the the reasons for empty treasury is first, as we all know, during the late 18th century, there were the Britishers who are ruling all over the world. They are, you know, located their small small uh, colonies all over all over the world, right? So now there are several different wars are going on. Second is France helped France also helped America. To get rid from the Britishers. Third, their luxurious life. Obviously, up, uh, as you can see, they they are al already a king and queen, so that's why they are actually having a very luxurious life, right? Fourth, as you can see, they need to need money to run society, to run the society. Okay, so now, okay, so now these are some main reasons for the empty treasury. Okay, so now France is reeling under the tremendous debt. Okay. So now they are seeking money from different countries. So they are actually reeling under the tremendous debt. Okay. So now there are several different lives which are living in France. That means very high population which is living right now in the France, which is about 2 billion lives. So this is a big number during the 18th century, which are living in the country. For the meeting, let's say for meeting their expenses, increase in the tax were inevitable. So now what is the increase in tax? Louis XVI thinks that he should increase taxes on normal people. So French society was divided into three estates. First two enjoyed all the privileges. First two, okay. So now what is this twist that this, it, the society is divided into three different estates? Okay, first is clergy. So now what is clergy? Let me give you an example. Let's say first the church people or popes. Okay. They are came under the or came in the first estate. Second is the nobility. Okay, so now what is nobility? Nobility is another word for the royal people, for let's say for the king and the, his family. Okay, so royal people. <clears throat> and third is normal people, right? Normal local people, normal slash local people of France. Okay. So now, first two are not paying the taxes. They are not, you know, uh, let's say eligible to pay taxes. Only the third people have to or must pay the taxes. Okay. So now, in the first people, the church people, they do not need to pay the taxes. Second people, they do not also need to pay the taxes because they are already the royal people, the king and queen and all their families. Right. Now, third estate having the big businessmen, merchants, court, court officials, sorry, peasants, artisans, land, uh, landless laborers and servants. 
so now some people in the third uh, estate are little bit richer and some are very poor as you can see here the peasants are also also there what are the peasants peasants are the farmers okay so they are also coming under this third estate and they have to pay the taxes for that debt which is france have to pay to the different countries okay so some within the third estate were very rich and the burden came all on the normal people or the local people of france okay so now that now uh, when this happens or when this uh, you know happened the struggle of survival which is you know raised so the population of france grew and so did the demand for the grain okay so we discussed there were 2 billion lives which is living at that time in the france okay in the country as you can see so there is a demand for grain also there is no grain left for normal people to eat even properly so now the gap between the rich and poor widened why because the first estate and the second estate is not they do not they need they, they need not to pay all the taxes only the third uh, estate or let's say normal or local people have to pay the taxes so now an extreme situation which has happened because that the basic means of livelihood are also endangered that means the taxes are also on salt and things like salt and tobacco also rice okay so now these are very 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 basic need for a local people to have okay so they so taxes also rise on the salt and tobacco so now what happens so the growing of middle class so during the 18th century witnessed emerged in the of the middle class which was educated and be believed that no group in society should be privileged by birth witnessed the emerged emergence of the middle class so now what is the middle class the people who are little bit educated they believe now they know what is happening in the society what is all happening in the society so they believe that they should no grouping in the society there should no group who are actually living their life very very you know privileged in very very privileged manner as you can see here they are already privileged by birth first the people who are pope popes are as you can see you know who are praying in the church they are popes and second is royal people the king king and his family okay so they are already privileged by the birth so the educated people decided this should not happen in the society first of all these ideas were put forward by the philosophers such as locke the english philosopher and the rosso the french philosopher these two proposed these idea because they were educated so that's why they proposed this idea or introduced this idea to the society that the this should stop right in the society they should stop there were the uh, most or let's say there were the big valley in between the rich and poor people and the poor people people are not even they do not have a grain to eat so how they can educate themselves that's why these philosopher introduce these ideas to the normal people so now the american uh, constitution is guarantee of, and its guarantee of individual right was important example of the political theories of france okay so as i told you that france helped america to get liberty from the britishers so now the in america what happened there is a constitution and it is the guarantee for the individual right okay in america so now that is became an important or let's say important example for france and for their political theories okay so these ideas were discussed intensively in the salons coffee houses or spread like a fire amongst the people through the books or maybe newspapers or let's say for you know the people who are talking to each other and also let's say they you know reading aloud that means let's say they are talking to each other and you know spreading these idea all over the society this is this is what happened during this france uh, french revolution okay so let's move forward 